Now let's take a look at point slope form. So point slope form will look like this. It's going to be y minus a number, call that number y1, equals m times x minus another number. Second number will be x1. So this x1 and y1 are going to be our point, our point on a line. And then m, just like in slope intercept form, is our slope. So again, the name tells us what we have in here. We have a point and the slope. And what we're going to do, again, we can always use an input-output table to graph a line. Or what we can do is plot this point, x1, y1, and use the slope. Let's take a look at our example. We have y minus 3 equals negative 2 times x minus 4. So let us find our point and then find the slope. So we have y1 and x1. So that point is going to be 4, 3, x1, y1. And then our slope, again, is the coefficient right here. It's going to be negative 2. So I first go ahead and plot my point, and then I use my slope. So from the origin, I'm going to go over 4, and then up 3. And then my slope tells me, again, rise over run. I'll rewrite this as a fraction, so it's going to be negative 2 over 1. So I go down 1, 2, over 1. Down 1, 2, over 1. And then that's what I use to draw my line.